Fires and Sparks going to fill the night sky coming up on Saturday. Coney Island will host the fourth annual Fire Up the Night International Fireworks Show. And here to tell us more about the big old event this year is Amy Pass. Amy, thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Great to see you. And I was telling you right as we went to the commercial break before, I am sitting up having dinner at Prima Vista right over on the west side of town up on the hill and i could see the show from there i mean it's a pretty remarkable show oh, you've got it's awesome and i'm not surprised you you could see it from there because the yeah. fireworks are enormous and they're amazing but this year you have to come to the event it sounds <laughs> like i need to be down there because you have uh, what, three different countries coming to do right. their shows and then you've got the Razzies doing the finale tell me how it all sort of works exactly well the Razzies help us and they bring in three world-class fireworks competitions we have three new countries this year okay. we're bringing in teams from from England from Australia and from Brazil oh my um, so really um, quarters of the globe there That's neat. and then um, so each one of those teams puts on about an eight-minute performance they're given guidelines um, to follow and then the Razzies put on a grand finale after that and they always try to outdo the three teams I was going to say that's sort of tough to do for them, but I guess for them too, you know, you get to learn a little bit about what other people are doing, maybe advances in, you know, the kind of work that they do by bringing in folks from Australia and Brazil and whatnot. Exactly, and I, and I think that um, it helps everyone see what, you know, what they're doing in their field and keeping yeah. everybody cutting edge, and, and they're with their peers, so they want to do their best possible work, so I think that's where our competition really benefits. Very cool. Where do people come set up when they come see the show? Um, well, we actually empty Sunlight Pool, so it's empty now, and it's a really cool place to set up your chairs and watch the fireworks from. It's a great vantage point. You so you're sitting in the pool, but yeah, you're not, you you're not sitting, sitting in the pool. pool. You're it's sitting in the pool. The, it's the world's largest waterless pool party. <laughs> There should, if there's not a Guinness record for that, I think there probably, <laughs> there probably should be. Uh, have you seen the crowds build over the year? You know, year, year four now, is it, yes. is it just kind of growing and growing? Absolutely, and I think, and people just, they come back, they have an awesome experience with their families. We do a car load pricing for this event. So, okay. So it's $30, bring your, bring your car load full of kids and family members, and um, classic rides are included with the car load pricing. I was going to ask, are yes. things sort of still up and running? Oh yeah, we have all of our rides running, um, and then of course the, the big, the big boom, the big fireworks shows. <laughs> End. How early can people come and start setting up, I guess, for the show? Um, it's The gates open at 4 o'clock. Okay. And um, the, the rides and stuff will all open at 4. We've got lots of food and drink options, and then the fireworks kick off at 8.30 as our first competitor. Sounds like a very, very good time if you want to head down, and if you end up somewhere else in the dry state, you're like, what's going on? Now you'll know what's going on, exactly. Amy. It's great to see you. Thank ya. you so much. Best of luck this weekend. We'll be right back.